Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant stride for the French armed forces, the Grizzly vehicle of the 11th Parachute Brigade is on the cusp of qualifying for assault landing operations, as reported by OPEX 360 on May 19, 2024. This development, largely under wraps until its public debut during the Bastille Day Parade on July 14, 2023, underscores a critical advancement in France's airborne operational capabilities. Assault landing is a military operation that entails the rapid deployment of combat-ready troops from a tactical transport aircraft onto a designated landing zone. The essence of this operation is speed and efficiency, aiming to deploy a combat-ready detachment within a matter of minutes. Typically involving aircraft such as the C-130 Hercules or A-400M Atlas, these missions enable the swift placement of troops and vehicles like the Grizzly directly into the battlefield, facilitating immediate action in securing strategic positions or engaging enemy forces. The Grizzly vehicle, though sizable, is air transportable and nearing qualification for these critical assault landing operations. Developed by Arquis and derived from the Sherpa vehicle, the Grizzly stems from the PLFS, Special Forces Heavy Vehicle, program, initially aimed at replacing the Light Reconnaissance and Support Vehicles, VLRA, used by the French Special Operations Command, COS. Launched in January 2016 by the Directorate General of Armaments, DGA, the PLFS program encountered initial setbacks. The first 25 units did not meet COS's operational needs due to various malfunctions. Despite subsequent modifications, these units were reassigned to the 27th Mountain Infantry Brigade and the 11th Parachute Brigade for motorized patrols. According to OPEX 360, the first units of the Grizzly did not fully satisfy their intended users, leading to their reassignment as reconnaissance and airborne vanguard vehicles for the 11th Parachute Brigade, particularly the 1st Parachute Hussar Regiment, RHP. The French Ministry of the Armed Forces has committed to delivering around 40 of these vehicles to the 11th Parachute Brigade by 2030, with 50% already delivered to the 1st RHP and 10 units earmarked for the 2nd Marine Infantry Parachute Regiment in La Réunion. Arquis highlighted on July 13, 2023, that the Grizzly was developed to provide vital intelligence, infiltration, and exfiltration capabilities autonomously in degraded and hostile environments. Designed in collaboration with the French Army's technical section and the Mabagister Group, the Grizzly is built for deep reconnaissance and anti-tank combat missions alongside the Light Armored Vehicle, VBL. Powered by a 260-horsepower engine with an automatic transmission, the Grizzly boasts high ground clearance and angles of attack suitable for rough terrains, reaching speeds up to 110 km per hour with a range of approximately 600 km. Despite its 11-ton weight and 6.4-meter length, with a height of 2.5 meters, the Grizzly is engineered for stealth and deep reconnaissance missions. Its modular design allows it to be equipped with a Browning M2HB 12.7mm heavy machine gun, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, and three 7.62mm machine guns, offering substantial firepower for assault missions or forceful reconnaissance, along with carrying significant payloads such as a motorcycle or additional fuel. The impending qualification of the Grizzly for assault landing operations marks a significant enhancement in the capabilities of the French 11th Parachute Brigade. This versatile vehicle not only augments France's rapid deployment and reconnaissance abilities but also reflects the ongoing innovation and adaptation within the French armed forces to meet contemporary combat and operational challenges. As the Grizzly becomes an integral part of airborne missions, it stands as a testament to the evolution of military technology and strategic mobility. That's all for now, see you later.